Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to discuss about uh, variables in Java. <clears throat> that why do we need variables in Java? And let's start. First of all, let's create a program, Java project. Let's call it war proj, war project. Okay. And then we go for it, create a class. Let's call it war demo. All right, so here we go. So why do we need variables to be used in Java? For example, let's call system.out.println. Okay, let's print 10. Okay. Good, it's printing 10. So I want to print this 10 several times. Let's say five times. So let's see, does it work? All right, cool, it's working. I want to make it 10 times, not five times. Okay, just copy paste, control C and control V. Okay, good, we have it. Now if I want to change any value inside or all of these values, so what I need to do, for example, I want to make it 11. So everywhere I need to go and change it, right? And like this, and probably I want to skip this or I want to do it all, for example, in the beginning. Okay, so it's it's a head, headache, right? It's pain in the neck, so okay, we can do it, but if we have, hundreds of thousands of these values to be changed, then it's not easy to do that, right? So uh, here variables are very useful. Let me go back and change it. What I, I press control Z to change things back to undo. Now, because this is integer value, so I can say it's int A and I assign it 10. Now I will assign this A to instead of 10, so A, A, and let me get rid of this. How many times? I need it 10 times, okay, four, six, eight, ten. 10. All right, <clears throat> so again 10, I wanted to make it 11, just change it once, only here, save it, run it, we are done. So we are not touching these things, right? So. Uh, this is not only with integer variable, we can do with char. Okay, let's call char C and this is for example, Z. Okay, so same thing. Let's say I want to remove this. I want to print C, which is Z. Now notice same thing. If I want to just print Z, it's Z, it's, it, it works, no problem. It's working, see? And I want to print several times, no problem. Right? Let's say five times, it's working. But tomorrow I want to change it. I want to make it capital Z. Uh, then I have to change everywhere. Same problem. So I, in this case, I just have this one variable. So I make it, let's keep it uh, C first. Okay, let's change this one. Okay, and okay, six times. All right, so we have it. Now I want to change it to capital Z. There we go. Okay, we don't need to change anything over here. Got it? All right, same thing, we want to have double. For example, this is, let's call it val, and it is 10.50. Okay, I want to print that one. So I say val, same thing. I want to print it several times. So every time the value remains same. I want to change it 15. I just change it over here just once. 
everywhere things are changed. Okay, same thing, string, let's call it name. And I say John, I want to make it name, replace this. <clears throat> All right, okay. Save it, run it three times, John. I want to add something else. John Peter, for example. There we go. I don't need to touch this thing. So this is why we use variables because our program is now easy to manage, right? Okay, thank you very much. See you in my next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.